just bugging. Out to do this, 
and then it tightens up even more when the windows are in because the seals pull it tighter so all my sides looking nice like I said you know I get to blow dry it and kind of smooth some of the wrinkles out when it's all in and then it tightens up as you know windows go in and then the heat and everything settles and so I'm really happy for the first time but whoa a lot of, a lot of work alright I'll uh, update y'all when it's done just budging number one and number two are in now just the back window and the front window. all right here we are this is my 1972 super beetle restoration project yeah of course we started breaking it down taking it apart seeing what we had here bought it in the neighborhood that we live in now and as you can see i have cut and buffed it some it's really shining but i always finish that off again got all that glass in and I chose the gills on the back without the chrome trim so it matched because I didn't go with the chrome trim I'm going with the black and white and you got the white headliner you have the black seal then you're gonna have the black door panel going into where the white pillar goes down to the floor and then black seats and then this the shifter uh, is going to be the color of the car as you can see i insulated the rear of the car also and all the wiring's detailed out and everything just bugging that's about it well i painted this hood yesterday and, and i wet sand this down today and shoot it again same time i'll shoot some fenders that i undercoated yesterday i will wet turn this off with a 320 so i can just get down this runs off the front of it you bug lovers today I've got time it was uh, very cold this morning I've got time to uh, put my motor together so uh, I gotta assemble the tin tins and get everything hooked up and maybe the exhaust and I might get the whole thing that I'm done today if I can find everything it's <laughs> on the beat on the beat <laughs> Good morning, bug lovers of the United States. <laughs> Today, I'm gonna do a valve adjustment on my 1600cc VW motor. All right, there we go. Need my feeler gauges. We're looking for 6,000. First thing we need to do is find top dead center. Going to lay some more insulation down and another insulation, the padding, on top of that, and then I'll get to the carpet, but I wanna lay some speaker wires underneath here. Mask around here so I don't go on and then glue this piece down and get on to the back and be done with this. I've got my glue down, as you can see, on both sides. Come on, use your imagination. Picture yourself getting in this car and it's all done. I mean, look at that. You know, when I see a car like this, first thing I do is I say, would you look at this? You know what I mean? Yeah, sure. That looks gorgeous. This really looks nice. One more piece to go. Hey guys, how y'all doing out there in the VW world? This is G-Man with Just Buggin'. I got the 72 Super Beetle motor out here. My personal car that I've been restoring for a while. I have an interested buyer tomorrow to come and possibly commit on it. Just got the door panels all in yesterday. It's looking really nice. And I'll be happy to inform you all that a young woman has committed to the purchase of this vehicle. So it is no longer for sale. We get a new suede with our bushings, new arm bushings, new ball joints, and uh, she'll have new disc brakes on the front. These are the uh, struts disassembled. Uh, I've got the cylinders, the inserts, or shock inserts for them on order. They're not here yet. And then one ball joint only came in. So I have the other control arm set aside because I'm going to have to scar it all up in fresh paint. All the bushings are in. So all of this is going to get chassis black. All right, guys. This is G-Man with Just Buggy. And I'm back on the 72 Super Beetle. Allie's car and oh, I've got enough parts to put one strut together. I'm still waiting on the correct ball joint. The wrong one came in. It was too short. 
Let's try to reduce some scratches. That'll work. That's how we do it here at Just Bugging. This right here, and that's it. Now I'm gonna have to uh, get another brake line set up. All right, guys, back on the 72 Super Beetle front disc conversion. As you can see all my new bushings and everything. I now have a brand new reservoir for this car too. So she's gonna have a really nice brake system when I'm done with it. And look what we found. We went through casing after casing and couldn't find one that, you know, didn't need line board or thrust cut. And guess what we found? Believe it or not, this is a brand new Brazilian casing. It's never been fired up, never used. So, Allie, you have a new speedometer kit. I don't all you bug lovers out there. This is G-Man at Just Bugging. As you can see, or you've already seen, the carpet install on my 72 Super Beetle restoration project. I thought, what a good idea if I just yank this whole tranny out and replace the boot on it. I'm just going to pull the whole tranny out and get it out of my way and make for some really good area to undercoat in and clean up everything. There you go. That's how you remove a transmission out of either a super beetle or a beetle hey guys this is g-man as you can see i finished painting the front fenders on it they look good they're just hanging up there out of my way i got the brand new running boards out gotta clean them up i got the big trim on it got my rear fenders painted really nice i'm gonna cut and buff them when they're mounted on the car so much easier to do my hood and i wet sanded it down 1200 right now letting it dry to see how much more i gotta go and then really happy with that ready to install the running boards and the fenders so right now, I'm gonna clean out all the threads. Get it all smoothed out. Hey guys, the day has come to reassemble the fresh new rebuild for the 1972 Super Beetle Alley's car. So what we got going here? All right, guys, got the break-in all done. Might not have got some of the assembly of it on video, but no big deal, you've all seen it many times before. But we've got it all tuned up and everything and ready to go. Hey guys, this is G-Man with Just Bugging. The day has finally arrived. I know I've been waiting for it. The new motor, re freshly rebuilt with a brand new case, is going into the 1972 Super Beetle. So we can get a move on on this car and get it out of here. All right, guys, look at that baby. Doesn't that look sweet? Yeah, it's up in there now. As you can see, I've got the dash in here. That is a really nice reproduction. Much better than the actual one that was in here. I mean, it looks just like it. Really looking sharp. It's gonna be a beautiful car. Hey guys, I'm back on the 72. Got my wife running out to get the porta walls put on the rear tires. I did get that part brake cable in. I think it's gonna look sharp. So let me get another coat of clear down on it. I finally finished the steering wheel, but I changed up my plans. I got to thinking, why not paint it the color of the car? Although I've never seen someone do that to one of these new owners. It's already uh, uh, registered to be in Bug Jam. So I'm gonna get it right for her and we're gonna get this thing to Bug Jam and she's gonna win her first prize. I guarantee you that. I'll guarantee it. I guarantee it. Ooh, boy. There we go. Yeah, that's gonna feel good. Done, and that worked out really nice. 
I put two layers of that padding in there. And it's quite comfortable also, yeah. Really turned out nice. That'll work, man, it is coming around nicely. guys we're gonna take the 72 out for a spin i've adjusted the rear brakes as close as possible and rebled the brakes yesterday and now i am adjusting the shifter i had to finish adjusting my heart brake cable but i am impressed for a car that has been sitting for at least 10 years so good drive i'm impressed getting closer and closer to turn this car over to the new owner i'm sure she's going to be really happy with my work as you all can see as you can see i got a bunch of led lights here <laughs> i'm underneath the 72 super beetle i'm gonna put these on for Allie. her birthday september 3rd and we figured we'd do something nice for her with the car so i can't wait to get these portal walls off and i decided to go just a little bit thinner of a tire instead of a 70 like these it'll be a 75 and a little smaller than the white wall so it's gonna look nice i like the bigger tires because it fills the wheel wells and it makes it just look hey look Look at me, you know. Man, I'm telling you, this thing will look the bomb in a parking lot somewhere at a car show. Well, we're gonna see how well we did on the LED installation on Allie's car. Oh yeah. Definitely going to be noticeable, and it's all controlled by the app. Well, here we are to get the alignment. She's close. Picking up the 72, got the other two cokers on the back. And she'll have a personalized white frame with pink lettering on it so that'll be in some more white on the back and here it is Allie's vw bug www just bug in the top rocks it's gonna be nice a little special gift for her all right guys let's see how she does i'm about ready to release her <laughs> Dalton's got a big announcement for that's going to go along with uh, the 72 and passing it over to the new owner. So uh, what you got, Dalton? So this Thursday at 3 p.m., we're going to be taking the 72 Super Beetle to the original owner that we bought it from. Him and his father were planning on restoring this car. His father bought it for him when he was 14 years old, and he ended up passing away in 2013. He had to sell the car because he wanted to buy a house. But now we get to show him what it looks like fully done and get to see his reaction. And you guys get to see his reaction. So we drove 
drove over to where his mother lives in the neighborhood and he really didn't want anybody to hack it up and, and turn it into a Baja or something and so she said she's not going to tell him anything about this and apparently he's had a lot of struggles like we all do you know getting your first house and everything trying to maintain everything and so it's going to be a big pick-me-up for him and to see that we did finish the car and that we're not turning it over to someone that's going to abuse it he's going to be happy to see where the car is going and what what's happened to it since uh, he sold it to us so it's exciting it's going to make a great final episode very wholesome to video. to the story of the 72 coming from where it came from to where it is now so i hope y'all like it all right guys we're heading over to the young man that i purchased this car from January 6, 2017. And as you recall, we mentioned that we found out later on after we restored the car that it was a father and son project also, like the other one that I purchased that the tire fell off. And he passed away in 2013, so they didn't get to finish it. So probably gonna be a little bit of a moving moment for him. Uh, he'll probably be very happy that we restored the car. And it's gonna be well taken care of by the new owner. So let's see what happens. Yep, well, let's see what his reaction is to his uh, fully restored car that he once owned. Hey. Hello. What's up? Brought something for you to look at. Oh, ain't too pretty. There's your car. Oh, that's mine. That was yours. Oh, and uh, if you scan that QR code, you can see everything that was done with it. And if you have any photos of you and your father, we'd love to put them or in anything room. with you all working on it. You know, we haven't seen any. We didn't even know that story. Until, uh, Tell your mom told us. We've uh, been recognized this year big time. VW approached us and did an interview and an article on us, and we were really? we were their article for Father's Day this year on their website. Oh, then it went all over the world. It's in multiple languages. Now we're in uh, Hot VW's magazine this month. Oh, wow. And your, and your car is in there, too. Oh, geez. So we always finalize it with a video of the whole restoration mm -hmm. and the whole story of it. So this one's going to be like three stories. It's going to be us, what we did to it. Then we find out about your part of the story and get some information and some photos of, of your father, and we can put it in that video. And then Sunday, we turned it over to the new owner which is a very hardworking young woman, lives up near St. Augustine, so she'll take very good care of it because oh, she's wow. got several nice cars. So she's into the collectibles. So come and take a look at it. Jeez, I didn't even recognize that when you pulled up. <laughs> I bet you didn't. <laughs> Check out the motor now. And it's a whole nother motor. That case was uh, not rebuildable. When it it uh, wasn't figured. rebuilt when we took it apart. I cranked it up and the compression test didn't make sense for it to be rebuilt and we took it apart and there was a lot of a, it was kind of a band-aid motor. It had a lot of deficiencies in it. Yeah, so. I didn't dig too deep into that. I had someone work on the, the cylinders, but that was it. Yeah, now it's all rebuilt and zero miles on it, basically just cruising around the neighborhood. And check out the interior. Look at that. Oh, that is nice. The stereo is Bluetooth. It looks traditional, vintage, but you you can take a phone call with it and everything. See, look at the front, look at the AM numbers on it. LED lights up behind it. And oh, it's that's cool. Modern stereo, but it fits the car. And you kept the original panels, too. Yep. Nice. Yep. I recarpeted it. Look at my headliner. Oh, geez. Yeah, that's not easy. <laughs> no, no. It, it was my first one I ever done, and it's jam up. You know how much it costs to do that now? What's that? About nine hundred to twelve hundred dollars. Say what? For headlights? And that, yeah, and they don't put the glass back in for you. Oh wow! You have to do that too. You have to take the glass out, take the headliner out. At least the one shop I'm talking about, and people are waiting two months to get in there, and then you pay that kind of money, and you get to put the glass back in. <laughs> That's crazy. So what do you think? You like those Coke or white wall tires, don't you? Good. I do like the white walls. Those are really uh, nice. Yep. It's all looks just as good underneath as it does on top. And it also has the LED lights. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. I forgot to tell you. The whole bottom of the car is LED lights. <laughs> yeah, so she can turn it the color of the car or blue or red. I still got a punch list of a few things I got to fix before she picks it up. And I got to hook up a wire that's hanging over here. And so when she, if she has the LED lights on mm -hmm. and she hits the brakes, the whole bottom of the car will turn red. No matter what color she's got on it, it'll default to red and tell everybody you're hitting your brakes. That is nice. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they do that in other cars. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, but we get to say bye bye to it now. But it, it's really been fun with me and him doing all these cars, and now it's full time thing. I left my job 13 months ago. Video from the day we purchased it. Yeah, I remember she was in rough shape then. So did you ever think it would look like that? No. <laughs> it's a lot of work, man. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah. That's why I originally got rid of it. I knew I wouldn't be able to do it. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of other things. It's been my signature car. So every time someone comes and they can see an example of my work and they pretty much leave their car with me after they see it. <laughs> and here originally, I was just hoping someone would get it that wouldn't chop it up or oh, yeah. you know, do something. Cool. What interested her to come down here and look at it was the color actually that I chose. It is a nice color. She has a Fiat, I guess what they call it, 500. It's magazine it's in, but there's the engine. Oh, wow. And then there's the car. Oh, and that's then cool. That was my 1972 Beetle that he kind of helped me put $500 down on. And I got it before this car. And then a few days later, we mm -hmm. bought this car. And so we both restored them. This one, I got to drive four days on the road before it went down the one way, the wrong way, and hit it at 50 miles an hour. Totaled it. Oh, man. All that work. Only All drove work, it four right. days. So oh. this, this car is what we really happy to finish it. Yeah. It was really, really depressing when that happened with Dalton's car because the whole family participated and it was rat rod. It was kind of more individualized to him right. and his liking and everything. It was sticker bombed inside, but metal door panels and just stickers everywhere. It was really cool. Oh man, that's a shame. Yeah, it is. But now it's forever in that magazine. This so. Car and yeah, I said it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, we never imagined that. I said when the accident happened, I said, I know it's upsetting, but it'll make sense later. And <laughs> who'd have ever imagined, you know? Honestly. And this car will be at Bug Jam 2020. It's a big event. So, will the orange one, the and champagne edition, we got one at the house that's original air conditioning. And it, yeah, it's going to get charged. Will get to walk around and see this car. Yeah. Probably thousands of people. Jeez. Yeah, you see how that we named ourselves, and you see the card in my hat. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, that's <laughs> what, what, pretty cool. You, what you doing? <laughs> just bugging. <laughs> hey. So see now that people can the stickers on the motor and it's on the window, and anybody yeah, who wants, the they can just scan that QR code and look at every single video of the whole process. Yeah, I, I figured you guys would do a good job with that. I didn't figure this. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't figure this. Yeah, it's just... That's nice. Yeah. And the color, see, this was intended for my 63. Oh, and yeah. just like you had to do, you yeah. had to sell it to take care of something for the house. We had a situation going on at the time, and I was like, I had to let it go. And so I kept the paint. And, uh, and I said, it's really and I was color, like, but it'll look really pretty. I said, well, I'm going <laughs> to paint the 72 that way in hopes that it would make the car look older than it actually is. And it really did. Well, and it, it fits, too. Yeah. I mean, because 72 was a very transitional year. They had all sorts of things going on. Yeah. The 72 is the year that they surpassed Ford Model T in sales, that is. Yeah, I'm real, real happy with it. I like that they got the clear lenses because I, I don't like the orange on them. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah. Those look a lot nicer. I got two cars and it was loaded with parts and I used all the parts for the second car to finish this car. Oh, yeah. nice. So let's go for a spin. Thank you. Yeah, I was going to paint this black and then I decided last minute I think it looked good. Turquoise.
<laughs> it's a beautiful car. Yeah, it sure looks classy with those tires on it. Oh yeah, I mean, those white walls definitely made it. That's a thousand dollars for four tires. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but they're the best that money can buy for a classic car. At least if you're wanting white walls, I think that's the case. Yeah, I agree. That's cool. Yeah, I did all that custom accents because she's, you know, female. I thought it would be nice. And and then I, with the T-bumpers, I mean, later on if she wants to put the bumpers on it, but that's why I did the bodywork just so perfect in those areas because I wanted to be exposed without bumpers. And then it puts a little white on the front and on the white walls and then the emblem and then the Volkswagen emblem on the back. Just, just some small accents of spreading the white 360 degrees around. You have sure with the vendors? Yeah, I replaced the whole rear apron. Oh, you did? Yeah, so that's why it looks so perfect. It's I just brand think new. it's cool that you can go back now and watch all the videos of everything we've done on it. Yeah, yeah and it's, it's all in a category. Yep. You can go just to this car and watch 12 videos or whatever. I think it's 16 videos so far. 16? Yep. Very detailed out, huh? Yeah, you definitely did a good job with the wiring. I remember that was a horrible mess. Yeah, that took a while, and then I put this on my own personal vehicles, mm -hmm. is the heat, this will help it start quicker in a cold winter because it's insulated, and then this helps prevent on a hot summer vapor lock, the wrap on it. Well, they used to have the original wrap on there, and it was, yeah. that stuff just fell apart. Yeah, and see, I went with the oil bath filter, because uh, you don't have to worry about water getting into your oh, carburetor. And you never have to buy an air filter. Oh yeah, I noticed what this fender right here was the rusty one that was a, a brand yeah. new one. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I put the lights on, I was looking at it and I've seen it before on another car, a 70 convertible. And this light sat here and this other light was up here, about <laughs> about there. And see, I gotta, I have to rub some wax around here this weekend, but you see the line? Yeah. That's where it was. That This is where the seal kind of, I've still got to put some rubbing compound and get that line off. Yeah. But I had to move the whole light over to match it up with that one. It annoyed me. No one else noticed it, but I did until I pointed out to him. Then they're going, oh, I see what you're talking about. But somebody would see that at a car show and I'd be like, yeah, he let that go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you never live that one. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> did you get new caps? Yeah, I, I bought them and I made sure they were original. So there's a couple of imperfections on one of them or two of them, but that's something you, you just don't buy. The Chinese ones, they'll rust in them two months. I don't even see the deficiencies now. No, that's why I asked. They look pretty yeah. good. That's why I didn't want to go. I didn't want to wait and try to find the bumpers because I'm not going to buy the Chinese metal ones that rust. It's just going to rust? You just, you're better off having a few blemishes on a good original set. Well, and the one I had on that was bent was one of the uh, remanufactured ones. Mm -hmm. You saw how bent that was, how easy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah it's just a mess. And I really like the, the dovetail look without the I fenders it on it. Yeah. Yeah. And then I made sure everything lined up perfectly back here so because it was all going to be exposed. The mufflers do that every now and then. They'll want centers or so. Fender skirts would look really cool on that. Oh, fender skirts. Would they would look super cool. Yeah, I had fender skirts on my 78 convertible. Did you notice I put Alpine, Alpine speakers in it? Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Good speakers. Mm -hmm. That's why they sound good. Uh, I noticed that. Yeah. <laughs> They like the rear deck style too. That's yeah, yeah, it's just laying in there. Her father builds and a good carpenter. I'm no carpenter. I, I can make a bookshelf and the books are going to lean and I can make a dog house yeah. and the dog's going to get wet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I just going to leave it in there and let him make something nice for her. Yeah, and I did replace a few areas in the floors, a few patches in them. I think it was one area that was it. Yeah, probably under the battery. Yeah, yeah. But. Yeah, there's a bit of a hole there. It is neat looking over it and remembering the problem areas that I had in my head to face. Yeah. Seeing how they're just gone. <laughs> <laughs> well, I figured you'd enjoy it. Oh, yeah. All the chips and everything. There's my little imperfection. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna tell her while she's at Bug Jam, because remember I picked them up yes, for my 78. That would look great. Get those things right here, or maybe the Wolfberg emblem, or you know they have this silver one that's just a circle. They make a plug. It's a plug that oh. sits in there, so you don't see that, and, and it, it looks, looks fancy. fancy. This is what it looks like. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. What you show? 
the underglow. Oh yeah, and you can customize the color, so you can zero in right on the color. Yeah, I hope she gets a prize, but the competition is fierce at Bug Jam, especially all the guys that come up from down south. Yeah, I like the throaty exhaust, yeah, but it when, still has the chirp. When you pulled in, I'm like, that sounds I different. Heard that one before. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go by, and I, you know, you can hear the different tones. You know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you'll probably hear the one we're building right now from the house. <laughs> it's going to be a beast. <laughs> I can't wait because I've never driven a bug that was over 65 horsepower. Oh, yeah? yeah, and I'm going to drive one that's 150 horsepower. It's going to be a thrill. I've got one now that I picked up a 72 Beetle, not a Super Beetle, and it was all built, but it was a father and son, and the father passed away, and he sold it to me. And it's gorgeous, it's beautiful. Ooh. And it has a 1915 stroker motor in it, zero miles, never even been in the break-in. And it has a freeway flyer transmission in it. So it's gonna be a beast, and I'm hoping to keep my hands on that one for a while. See, when we all started this, before we even started doing the YouTube, we had three 72s. We had my 72 Beetle, 72 Super, this one, and then a 72 Super with a Sunroof. So we were 72 strong. And the crazy thing was, uh, if I remember correctly, my license plate on my Beetle, it said IH372. Yeah. yeah. Which is, I have 372. <laughs> <laughs> so. All right, well. I'm glad you enjoy it, and, and then you'll be able to forever look at those videos and, and remember that was your car. Well, I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. That was my main aim, was just someone who would enjoy it, you know, be able to restore it mm -hmm. to what it should be. And I'm selling it to make this business work better and get in That's a nice, a nice location. Did it help you out? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it was a lot of work. I have more money in it than I sold it for, probably. But it's the fact that it was my signature car and all the work that I got by being able to show this to someone. So it, it doesn't matter to me. It wasn't all about that. Yeah. And it's going to a, it's going to a great, great young woman that's a very responsible young woman and she'll uh, take good care of it. She's just so ecstatic. She's been waiting. She came down to look at it and I said, you can snatch it while it's here because it's advertised for sale and somebody can jump in and I'll customize it to their liking and that's what happened. So she's been waiting for it for, I don't know, what, six months? Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But as long as it made it to bug jams. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I made it. <laughs> Just seen it with an interior is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a long haul, but well worth it when you get to see these results and then all the people that enjoy oh, yeah. looking at it. But I'm gonna have pictures of his beetle fragment. Right. And then it's gonna go right to the videos of when we first got it. And it's gonna go to screen grabs. Yeah, the last time this thing was on a highway is when we came to Florida in 2004. It was being towed behind a Dodge Ram. Wow. And that, and it was so it was towed. So you didn't even know how long it was before that, 2004. So see, it could have been Dalton. It could have been even four years before that. It could have been 20 years. Guess what? It was towed behind when it went what? to the wheel alignment. What? Isn't Cali's truck a Dodge Ram? Yeah. yeah. And it was towed behind the Dodge Ram. That's crazy. That's funny. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, driving around, probably 20 years ago, 17 years ago. Uh, probably 17 or 18. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, once That's I crazy. Down here, I didn't really drive it much. Yeah, we didn't have any idea how long it's been. Yeah, it's been a while. Well, well, it's got everything new, front wheel bearings. It's got disc brakes in the front now. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's one of the things I wanted to do because yeah. they're so much better. Yeah. yeah I remember when I, when I first did the brakes on it, all four cylinders popped as soon as I pressed it. <laughs> look, I even rebuilt the struts. And look at them, if you can see. Oh, yeah. The coils, the color of the coils. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so when you look underneath, it's the, all the bushings. You can see the red, the red ones right there. The, all the sway bar and everything was sandblasted and painted. All the brake lines, the flexible lines, the, the master cylinder, the bearings, the rear bearings, everything. It's those little details that make the difference. Oh yeah, yeah. It's definitely custom, but and you can see that's on my punch list too. I was waiting on brand new windshield wipers, so the arms are off. <laughs> And that's a brand new windshield. Yeah, it is all scratched up. <laughs> all the rubber. <laughs> this was a pain in the butt. Oh, this is all, every bit of this is brand new, all the rubbers and everything. Yeah, I noticed the rubbers are nice and clean. Yeah. Heck, just that makes a huge difference. Yeah, I wish I would have got pop outs for it. Oh, it would have looked so good with pop outs. I was wondering what those black dots were. There's a bug. See, there's another one. <laughs> oh, they're gnats. It's that time of year. What the hell is it? 
dirtying up my car, man. It's only mine for another two or three days. Alrighty, I guess that's a wrap. Hey guys, I'm back at it. Finishing up on some minor little things. Went and retorqued the rims uh, and the act nuts. And now I'm installing a emergency hood release, which I like to do if you ever had a cable break or it breaks off in there or whatever it might be the reason behind it. So if you can see right there, I drill a hole right there and it ends up being right above that bolt. So it's just an old accelerator cable. So I'm painting the end of it so you can visually see it. And then you could paint a screwdriver or something and pull through it. It'll just be hanging there and you can pull it and release the hood if for some reason the other release didn't work. And you just go down here and put it alongside the cable through the same way. And uh, of course, make sure it works. So I've had that problem before and it is no fun. So I'm cleaning this up, getting the spare tire clean, put a center cap on it, and throw it in here. And just got a few other little tidbit things. I'm touching up the running boards, any black paint that's chipped off. So you get some over here. You yeah, haven't done this side yet. Clean all that up and then uh, wash and maybe touch up some wax on it today and everything else is working runs great drives great peewee gets out of here three o'clock today this one's out of here at 10 o'clock tomorrow champagne edition comes back from some paint work probably tuesday or wednesday and i will be hauling that behind the just bug and cruiser to bug jam and we will be having a bug jam camping field trip yes several of the other owners of some of the bugs that i've repaired or restored or join us at bug jam we'll be camping out and having a whole weekend 48 hours just bugging sounds freaking fun <laughs> okay guys hopefully you've seen in other videos i can't get the camera pointed at the right thing but you see down here this is where the latch is for the trunk hood whatever you want to call it see i took this flexible cable that was for a accelerator cable and then i got the, the stiff cable which is the one inside the glove box to release it hopefully y'all can still see that and i put this little piece of aluminum on both of them i'm put it up right here and i'm going to crimp that down and see there's my cable and it's flexible so it's not going to prevent it from pulling it naturally from the original way and then i've got a hole here and i'll put a little bit of rtv on there so you know water doesn't come in from the wheel well and when it's emergency you just go down here see if you can see hopefully y'all can see that but you get this little cord right here and you can stick a screwdriver in it and you can get in nice oh there's another thing i gotta do i'm gonna hook this up to the led system on the bottom of the car and the whole bottom will go to default which is red when she applies the brakes in the car you know added custom feature there glad i saw that forgot all right so there's your emergency trunk latch in case something fails on the other one you know your opener all right let me uh tighten that up crimp that i think that should do it. So I got my little last would be on the trunk. Go down here. Take this. There you go. See? Good as new. Now let's make sure it doesn't interfere with this one. Yep. Look at there. Alright, so here's your little emergency latch release. Pretty nice. I like that. One more time. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> but a bang. That's all she wrote. Oh yeah, the A-Team. I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> What's it say? Well, it says, I love it when a plan comes together. We'll call it the JB Team. All right, it's all up in there, hooked up. I've got the pin right here. There's with no lock. One unlock. Bada bing, one unlock. And it's unlocked. Sweet, I like that. Leave a comment, what you think? Just bug it. Back at it. Yeah, that sure looks nice there. Well, I like that spare tire there. That's where uh, the LEDs come in right there with the fuse and then the, the box for the Bluetooth for your phone. And as of right now, I am at one side at a time. Yes, I'm gonna paint the valve covers. <laughs> All these times I've been saying, I do it at the end. So I adjust the valves and paint one at a time so I don't lose a lot of oil, jack it up on one side. So she sure is looking good. I don't know if I mentioned it before, I run around with the torque axle nut and all the wheels, expected to do brakes, I'm inspecting everything. Her first drive is gonna be probably, I think it's about a three and a half 
I would say a four hour drive or more because they're going to probably take their time and I'm going to suggest that they pull over every now and then and look at things because it's just going right on a maiden voyage. I mean, it's just been driven around the neighborhood and this car hasn't been on the road since 2003 or earlier. So it could be as far back as 1998. So you'll see a lot of those details in the uh, final video. Got a big story coming out on this one. Uh, things that we didn't know about the owner that owned it before I purchased it. So we're gonna get like, you know, three generations of people that owned it right now. And then the fourth generation will be the new owner. So pretty neat story. Oh, I'm back on the 72 and one down, one to go. Dalton said I should let you know. I've uh, all the times that I mentioned, hey, I'm gonna paint those valve covers at the end. Look, I painted the valve covers at the end. <laughs> I, I like to tilt it one way and do one at a time and so I don't have a bunch of oil and make a mess so I'm doing this side now if you can see alrighty and any minute now the owner of Peewee will be coming to pick her up yeah hey guys got the other uh, valve cover off freshly painted I just wanted to point out that uh, I did take the valve cover gaskets off and I'm letting it sit out here and I, I only like to seal them. If I'm going to seal them, I seal them to the valve cover and then let it sit out for a while. I don't like to put the sealant on this side. I don't like it on my head and uh, I'm not gonna do that. So it'll be fine. So just to show that I replaced the valve cover gaskets. So put that on and last thing I've got to do other than maybe some little detailing, you know, washing it up, polishing it and everything before they get here tomorrow morning. I'm gonna adjust the headlights tonight. We're gonna do a little drive around and check it out you know in the neighborhood later this evening hey guys uh that's the final day man Allie and her parents are coming pick it up and drive it all the way back so i'm gonna take my possibly my final drive in it and it's a great day here at just bugging but also kind of sad uh, beautiful i'd love to keep it but i've always been this way maybe one day i'll keep some i have that 72 in the back and i hope to hold on to but i really do enjoy bringing them back and making people happy and them driving around and, and i'm the one that put it there brought it back to its glory days so let's turn some neon lights on that is sweet Got up early so I could adjust the headlights. It is sweet. Didn't let it warm up much. We'll just take it slow. A little cold. Two of them heat risers to get that intake warmed up a little bit. Looks like this fog on the windshield is starting to go away. I can't wait till bug jam. We're gonna be camping there. The orange crush should be there. The champagne edition with original air conditioning should be there. Allie will be there. She'll be camping. We should be doing a collaboration video with Jawbreaker. We're 27 away from a thousand. It's Dalton's birthday today on the 25th of October. So it's kind of neat that the car is leaving on his birthday. Yeah, it's a lot of neat things are happening. I can pretty much guarantee we're gonna hit a thousand while we're at Bug Jam. I mean, I just don't see how we're, we're not gonna pick up 27 subscribers. So y'all need to participate because the winner of the prize when we hit a thousand is all about who comments and base it on the video that gets the most comments and then Dalton chooses us something that randomly chooses the winner, so. Get it out, Greg. Yeah, I don't think she's gonna have any problems, but I've been working 10 hours a day since we got back from the beach. car you'll smell that clutch a little bit new clutch It'll take a little while for the smell to go away oh yeah no leaks i put those new valve cover gaskets on turn our neon lights off that is sharp oh yeah i really think she's gonna like it <laughs> matter of fact i know she's gonna like it
Hey man, what we got here? The 1972 Super Beetle about to go to its new owner. And uh, boy, she is looking good. We went over to make sure the timing and everything was precise and fine tune it for the last time before it goes out. Everything's good to go. So it's time for it to, to go on and move on to its next owner so she can enjoy it. I'm sure she's gonna have a lot of fun. Hey, it was cool though, the reaction we got from the original. Oh yes it was, yeah. It's uh, it's gonna make for a great story, the ending story for to pass the torch on, so to speak. And uh, two weeks before Bug Jam, so she'll be enjoying this in two weeks at Bug Jam. So and we'll if y'all wanna, yeah, we'll be there. So if y'all wanna check it out, be there or be square. All right guys, the new owner of the 72 Super Beetle is here. Let's go meet him. Hello, how was your all's drive? Are you excited, Allie? <laughs> <laughs> I even brought my mechanic in today to do the last little final tuning of it. <laughs> what would you think about the video? Oh, I loved it. Yeah, <laughs> I, saw I, loved it. I saw that. I saw that. I was like, that's awesome. In the remote. Oh, oh, I love it. Oh, that's. <laughs> Yeah, and Dalton threw in a clear cover to go with it. Yeah, see the motor. And if you ever, you know, want to add some oil, just get you an eight millimeter or a flat tip and take this off and carefully move it out of the These will crush easily. And, uh, and then when you check your oil, don't ever go by the first pull and check it often. You want to check it right before you go when it's cold. And then when you pull it out, like I said, don't use the first reading and then confirm it by two readings that are the same. You don't want to overfill the oil, but check the oil when you get there. Cause you know, this is going to be the break in. It might burn a little until the ring seat and everything, which uh, top it off. I put the oil goes into it on the invoice and then the, windshield wiper tank i was looking for it today i can't seem to find it yet the hoses have to be replaced it goes right here i'll bring that at bug jam when i see you and while you're at bug jam you might want to get you one of those like they make a pad carpet piece that goes in there i mean it looks really great the way it is. <laughs> here's your fuse for the led light and that's how it bluetooths right there with your phone oh and another little feature okay you can't get in there well, you know it's in the die, but there's been problems where the cable has failed and then you can't get in there. I mean, it's very difficult. As you reach under here, I put this on there because I've been locked out before and you basically <laughs> have to cut the handle off. Down here is a, if you look in here with my hand, see this little ring? And you can pull that and get in. <laughs> So I, I put an additional, here's your cable that goes into the glove box and that's how you unlock it. But there's another extra cable that comes through a hole there. So a little added feature. Just remember to turn your wheel so you can get to it. <laughs> I love how the tires, they're bigger than what normally comes on these cars. And you know, you don't want to worry about what you're driving over. I don't want you, you know, we have a low car. I mean, everybody seems to be lowering them. But the stance is just the same height. It fills the big wheel wells and the stance is just identical. So you could just drive across the grass and not worry about hitting anything so and, it, and it's just commanding looking you know and it almost looks like 22s because <laughs> of the white walls you only see that much black so it kind of makes you feel like it's got 22s on it oh, so <laughs> Were well, you ready to drive it? I actually don't. I gotta learn to drive it. Yeah. <laughs> Is Dad driving it back? Dad's gonna have to drive it. We're, go. gonna, we're gonna start learning today. Uh, there's no leaks underneath it, but when you get home, just put a piece of cardboard on it. You, you may see a small uh, droplet. Any bug that does mark its territory, you need to check the oil. You're probably out. You know. But uh, I've been going nonstop since the car pulled in from Daytona Beach. <laughs> <laughs> Ten hours a day. I did see a couple of times, I don't know why, but I noticed when I went under it that the LED lights, it was like magical. Maybe it was the prior owner, his father passed away before they could restore it. And but I come out and like, the neon lights are on. Oh. And I go on my phone and I'm like, turn it off. <laughs> so I looked at the plug where it comes up on the side and female end faces up. So maybe a little moisture got into the plug and it crossed the you know, connection to make it turn on. But so I sealed that up yesterday, thinking that might be a way. That's why I show you where the fuse is. If it starts to do that one time, you know, you're not going to use them all the time. Yep. Use my little. 
Secret entrance. Yeah, so it's just so much easier than running over there. But I just take the fuse out. It may just be what I thought it was. I take this little fuse out and I put it behind the cap that goes over it and I put the cap back on and it holds the fuse right there. It may not do it again because the plugs were facing up. That's something I've always seen on doing road calls for equipment. She always usually moisture getting in a plug for something to do something like that. But Well, this is the moment we've been waiting for. The 72 Super Beetle is on its way to its new home. It's sad but true. Sad but true. <laughs> yeah, Metallica, sad but true. <laughs> She's a beaut. Yeah, Bug Jam's gonna be a blast. At least three of my cars will be there. We need to park them all together. Yeah, I hope so, but I don't know. They'll be placing where we go, I'm sure. Bye. 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 Have fun, don't forget gas. Yeah, definitely. Bye. And uh, uh, when you pull over somewhere, you know, on your way back, just get out and kind of look under it, make sure nothing's stripping or anything. I don't think you'll have any problems just because I've always inched away from the house. But I mean, I've been driving around here a lot, but it really hasn't been much in the fourth gear at a long period of time. So I don't think you'll have any problems. Father and daughter's road trip, Green Cove Springs bound. <laughs> yeah, until it's warmed all the way up, it might not idle at first. I usually, when I'm gonna get ready to go somewhere, I'll usually crank it up, let it sit and idle for about five, 10 minutes and... There she goes, what a beaut. <laughs> there she goes, boys. That's a wrap, just bugging style.
guys, it's Dalton. Thanks for watching this video. I know this was a pretty long video, I gotta say, but it really shows the entirety of the car from the beginning of when we first got it to when we handed it off to the, the new owner. So I think Allie loves the car. She seemed really excited about it, and it's cool to see her, you know, learning how to drive it too. And it was pretty cool seeing the original owner's reaction too, I gotta say. But it's it's been a fun time of us restoring this car. Of course, it's been on and off, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, drop a like, comment, subscribe, and have a just fun of a day. Remember, we're about to hit a thousand subscribers, so if you guys really enjoy the content, then please subscribe.